Well, there's Prairie Warrior. I've uh, set him up on the table uh, because I'm going to work on this piece for a little bit today and until uh, I get my board and I can start my Hawaiian piece. Um, as many of you know, as many of you know, I've, I've been using True Form armature on this uh, warrior, and uh, that's the uh, sculpting stand or the armature setup that you send you along with the uh, armature, so that you can uh, stabilize it and all that stuff. And I want to tell you, I want to test to the strength of that uh, armature and that uh, sculpting. Uh, armature. I, I was undoing him off the uh, sculpting stand and the whole sculpture fell off the sculpting stand because it was back heavy and it landed right on the back of the board right there with the uh, Indian facing up. So the Indian never came in contact with the floor. Uh, part of his arm came in contact with the sculpting stand though and you know, it sort of took out the uh, fringe that was there. But uh, that's the only damage. It didn't even shift it, it didn't uh, crack it, uh, it didn't do anything, it just uh, landed on the floor and that was quite a drop when you look at the height from that sculpting stand down to that floor. And this is where the uh, clay hit the, the sculpting stand right there, I mean uh, the uh, pedestal was right there. So I've got to tell you, Trueform makes very strong armatures and uh, that's uh, Trueform armatures.com uh, if you want to get some of these armatures. All right, I'm going to get to work on the on my mountain man and horse and uh, work on uh, that's the pose I'm going to be doing. Not the guy behind her, but the guy, woman in front. And then I might just do the guy at home uh, when I get home, because I won't have time to do it here. I won't even have time to do her. I've only got a few days, but who knows how much I can get done Anyway, that's the Hawaiian pose I'm going to do, and this is the armature set up in that pose. And uh, now I just have to start adding clay to it. I want to show you how I set up the, the, the armature. You, you can see how you can easily uh, bend these uh, legs and stuff like that at the joints uh, with this aluminum wire. And then I took the ends of the wire where the end of the foot is and actually drilled a hole into the, into the board and uh, then I put uh, the, the uh, wire down into the hole and then just to tighten it and, and, and lock it in place, I put a screw in. Uh, I did the same thing on this foot too. And then I took, I needed some support because this thing wants to go up and down, especially when you start getting a lot of weighty clay on it. So I um, made a temporary armature. I, now if I'd have gotten the, whoop, if I'd have gotten the, uh, the armature setup uh, for this one that I, I had for the other one, it'd be easy to set up, but I didn't get one of those. So um, I'm going to, uh, I used one of these uh, copper tubing, uh, quarter inch. I flattened out uh, one end of it and bent it, and then I drilled holes in it and put screws uh, through that to anchor it to the board. And now I'll just uh, tape the uh, this end up uh, to the backbone of the uh, armature and that will keep it from uh, moving back and forth and up and down so that'll be a good armature um, so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to go ahead and get started on this and uh, see what, how far I can get today
Now again, they're rolling swells. So they really don't get up any kind of uh, massive body to the liver when it goes to shore. And then the feet are circling the back. Some of the shallow beaches are probably Well, that's as far as I'm going to take it today. Um, that's one of the beauties of this uh, type of armature uh, system is that if you want to learn anatomy and learn how to sculpt, it, you've got the basis and all you have to do is go from that point to the bone structure and the uh, muscles. And uh, I can't think of a better tool for learning and a better tool for artists who already have learned and uh, can use some help and some safe, uh, you know, a system that saves them time. So I, I would say that this is a, a great system. It, it, it took a couple hours to uh, finish getting it all locked in with clay, uh, setting up the, uh, the whole pose. But I'm really happy with uh, the way this turned out. Even with a, a temporary uh, armature, which is fine because it just is all going to be covered with a grass skirt hitting the ground anyway, so that's not going to be a big deal. All right, that's going to be it for today. Tomorrow I'll be uh, at the farmer's market here in, in Tahoe, and um, I'll be working under a tent. So, exciting day tomorrow.